Howdy, it's Matt. Now this is being recorded on the phone and I have got a 3D printer running here and it's rather noisy so I'm going to talk quite loudly and we're going to have a quick little update on what's going on right here on the print bed which is, uh, let me get one of the test prints which is that one there and that may look rather familiar to you because that is a wing rib. Now I'll put, once this video is finished I will put a uh, link to the Thingiverse files for this uh, in the video description for you. Now with that said, what are we doing? We're printing off some uh, wing ribs so that we can have a stab at making a 3D printed plane. Now the issue which I've had today is that to print a normal 3D printed plane takes hours. It's like a wing week's worth of printing non-stop to do it and you've got to have your printer really really dialed in uh, to do it. And uh, by the way that's what I've had to do with mine this morning. You know, let me get in there close and see if I can get it to focus which would be fun because uh, that printer head's going around like a possessed hamster. Anyway this for me is like the best of both worlds. We get to use some 3D printed parts, so the wing ribs, so we can get a super accurate um, aerofoil on our actual wing itself. And of course we can then put a bolster leading edge on the very front up here. Uh, we'll probably need a couple of wing joiners in the middle as well. Uh, and then we'll go and cover it with some cover and field makeup, so ailerons. I'll probably also make a mount for a carbon fiber tube boom to go out the rear. Now this is actually the fourth print. That was my first test print and I learned quite a bit on that print. Then we had the third, no, second print, which is that one there. And what was happening, I don't, let's see if I can put this down there on the side to see if it will zoom in and if it will focus for it. No, it's not. It's kind of thinking about it. Uh, in short, the printer head was over extruding and it caught on a great big lump just there and then jumped, which was very annoying. Uh, and then I've just been and toned down the printer settings uh, and that, that one there came, came out really, really well. So that was my third print and now I've got the fourth print on there, uh, which looks like to me we've still got some more printer settings which we need to tweak with so those of you which think uh, printing a 3D plane is easy in reality it's not very easy uh, you learn quite a lot as you go which is is a journey so anyway with that said for myself Matt a quick little video uh, as an update to a 3D printed plane uh, this is my approach like I said I'll put a link uh, in the video description after this we finish being live uh, to the files on Thingiverse and I'd like to say a massive hat tip to Dell, the guy who made the wing ribs and the other parts. So with that said, for myself Matt, cheerios!